Welcome to JMAC. I believe this is one of the finest martial arts institutions in North America. We aim high. There's lots of joy and camaraderie in our practice, but we expect you to aim high too. You know, when it comes to success, many people see the mountain, but very few choose to climb it. Our goal is to help you achieve excellence, whether that means better fitness, the ability to defend yourself, better concentration, or simply a deep, meaningful path that you can travel for your entire life. All traditional martial arts begin and end with respect. It's what separates us from barbarians and bullies. One of the many ways we show respect is with a bow. Today, I'm gonna to show you what we expect from you when you bow. By the way, please don't confuse bowing with submission. We're not submitting to our seniors or to our instructors. We're simply demonstrating mutual respect. The standing bows used to enter and leave the training area to acknowledge instructions from a teacher and also before and after working with another student. In traditional Japanese martial arts, we keep the back very straight and the head in line with the body rather than looking directly at our opponent. We use the seated bow to begin and end class also to begin and end a formal exercise like a kata and to bow to another student if there's a setting like grappling or some other reason that you start or end on your knees. Just like we do with the standing bow, in the seated bow the back stays very straight, the head stays in line with the body, and in most empty hand martial arts the hands move together on the way down and on the way back up. Remember, personal change doesn't happen by accident. The only way to make this stuff an intrinsic part of who you are is to practice. The more you walk these lessons forward into your own life consistently and enthusiastically, the faster you'll learn and the more you'll get out of them. Thanks so much for your time today. Martial arts has given me more than I ever imagined it could, and I know it can do the same for you. If there's ever anything on these talks that helps you, I'd love to hear about it so I can share it with others. Next time, I'll talk a little bit more about respect in the martial arts. But until then, I'll see you on the mat.